Well, that's the end of June just now. Uh, you can see, looking around, it's maybe not quite as summery as I'd hoped. But um, I'm up here, right in the northwest of Scotland again, um, heading down towards Sandwood Bay just now. Uh, it was forecast to be nice and sunny down there, but it looks like the sea mists have rolled in a bit. So uh, we'll be down on the beach in about 15-20 minutes. Uh, have a wee shot tonight, set up a tent, camp overnight. Um, and then have a fish and explore up towards Cape Wrath tomorrow. Uh, camp overnight tomorrow and then head back. Uh, so a nice straightforward sort of session. Um, got a couple of rods with me, just one for purely for light spinning and then the other for either spinning or a wee bit of bottom fishing with I've got some sand eel with me and a couple of wee crabs um, so we'll give that a shot um, either this evening or tomorrow see how it goes anyway I'll turn this camera around and uh, you can get a look at what you can see or not see of Sandwood Bay Happily settled for a sea trout. Um, so I walked along to the end of Sandwood now. I think it's about time we started looking for somewhere to camp for the night. Uh, sun's going down slowly, but uh, plenty of time yet to sort ourselves out. There's some fantastic little camping spots along this part of the world. pretty dry at the moment so uh, finding a spot along here is not too difficult. Getting out the midges is more of a problem I think. The view from the tent sort of thing, up above the beach here, nice flat, flattish bit of ground. That's dinner for tonight, uh, never tried this one before. But it's uh, one of these dehydrated meals, pour boiling water in, star and prey basically. It's, uh, only takes about 10 minutes. We'll report back. Rarely had good experiences with them in the past, but we'll see. Light when you're carrying them around, of course, so that's the, the big advantage. Well, that's it, uh, ready in inverted commas. No, no piece of cameras planned up at the tent this morning. Just uh, too many midges showing up there. It's nice and sunny down here, but uh, the tent is still in shade. It's about half six this morning. Um, it's actually probably been light since about two o'clock. It barely gets dark up here just now. So, anyway, tide's dropping back. So, I'll get a little while on this bark.
and then have to go find something else. But um, do a wee bit of spinning, and um, put a wee bit of bait out in this rod, I think. Hopefully, a, a crab or a fish strip, something like that. Anyway, I'll, but I'll get going. And. Uh, Not sure if the camera is picking this lot up or not, but uh, that's the bait it's taking in. And you can see it's absolutely heaving with little copepods or something like that, little crustaceans. I'm heading up towards Cape Wrath for tonight, so. I kind of need to get the tent packed up and away. Um, fortunately, this one packs down light and small, so you can see here it packs down to virtually nothing. Makes it a bit easier when you're slugging it across country. this little loch, get myself a sandwich or something and then uh, have a few casts going round it and uh, keep going up north over the hills up there but uh, you can see there's not an awful lot of wind here just now bright sunshine there's fish rising and stuff in here but we'll see it's a terribly shallow looking loch Give it a few casts and see if anything bites. Looks like I've been beaten to some of the fish. Uh, these are otter tracks. Um, I've never seen an otter up here, but obviously it's good territory for them. Plenty of fish. I uh, hope he's doing better than me because I've had absolutely nothing out of this loch. Uh, just too calm, too sunny, really. Uh, I'm just heading down towards uh, Keyskeg now. Uh, I just wanted to show you the kind of ground we go over here. 
It's uh, increasingly boggy, pools, marsh. You just see the light. I don't think it shows up on the camera on the left hand side here, but it's just bog there. God knows how deep some of this stuff is. It, you certainly wouldn't want to fall into it. So that's the river Keyskeg. Uh, believe it or not, it's a salmon stream. Oh, not today, I suspect. And anyway, it marks the boundary of the range, the army range. So I'm just moving on beyond it now. I'm not sure if you can actually read that sign, it's just been blasted away by the wind and the weather. Basically it's just a keep out when the red flags are flying type of sign. Anyway, it's all quiet just now. So it's going to press on up the hill up there, you can see. Well, let's keep Rath down now. Uh, I'm heading down to, towards the left hand side here. Cape Wrath is the far away point you can see towards the right hand side. Um, I'll just a wee pan round here. What you're looking at here is looking over the north coast of Scotland. So uh, basically the Faroe Islands will be the next stop out, out that way I think. This is uh, pretty much the last obstacle between me and the campsite. So it's got to get, get across the barn down here, then up the far side. That's a tent up. Uh, it is extremely hot up here. Uh, obviously a bit difficult for the camera to pick it up, but I'm absolutely knackered. Uh, taking hours to get up here. Um, so I don't think I'm going to bother fishing tonight. Um, it's just way too hot. Um, you can get down some of these rocks. Um, not as easy as it might appear in the camera here, but there's a couple of spots uh, just a little bit further north of here you could get down. Um, that was the original plan was to do a wee bit of pollock fishing. But I think I'll just give it an early night tonight. Um, I do need to be up early tomorrow morning. Because uh, I need to be back down in Vaness Way by lunchtime tomorrow. And it's a long hike from here. Oh, well, it's uh, just before four o'clock just now. Uh, just gonna get a cup of coffee in the go, and um, just about to head off. Just to get the tent down in a minute or two. Uh, take a fair way to get fair time to get down towards Sandwood, and then from Sandwood to back to the car. Um, but I don't have all day today, so. I need to start early. Uh, I think you can see it's fairly light. Um, it's completely overcast, but it's still uh, pretty much broad daylight now. Um, just as well as a bit of a breeze, otherwise I think the midges would be having fun just now. Uh, so, just uh, 
having a coffee, it's gonna wake me up. And then just head off, I think. Fine collection of boys down there. Uh, looks like they just get washed into the bay here, and uh, obviously there's nobody comes in to pick them up. But, uh, pretty tricky to get access in here, I think. There's a life ring further up as well. So all sorts of stuff in here. But the only place I've seen around here's got driftwood in it as well. Uh, just a quick view of the way down out of here. It's quite steep, you just got to be careful going down, that's all. I'm down near the coast just now and you can see the effect of the wind and the winter storms. It's sandblasted this area. There's rock and gravel left. Very exposed. Ah, to be back at Sandwood now. As I said, I've got to get a move on today. It's always a, a bit of a wrench to leave this bit of the coast because it's, uh, it's a lovely spot. Quite happy just to sit here looking at it for a while. We'll have a cast or two going along the beach uh, before we hit the trail back. <laughs> 